And yet today, alone and 93, Pauling continues his vitamin C crusade, unbowed and undaunted. Once a week, he leaves his remote Pacific Ocean home and is driven nearly 200 miles to his very own research laboratory near San Francisco. A modest enough building, the Linus Pauling Institute is where his vitamin C gospel has been conceived and preached for the last 20 years. The Linus Pauling Institute. It has half a dozen separate laboratories and up to 40 scientific staff, all seeking to discover yet more properties of vitamin C. Dr. Good morning, Ms. Monroe. Good morning, Dr. Pauling. Pauling's lab has been maintained largely by private benefactors inspired by the cause and the name. Donations average about $3 million a year. I thank you very much for your fine contribution to the support of our work period. Also, come, uh, I enclosed some of our recent papers on vitamin C and heart disease, period. The cure so of heart disease mind. is his latest crusade. Assisting him, Dr. Matthias Ruff, a German biochemist who took a huge risk in doing so. My decision to join Linus Pauling was noticed Pauling? with disfavor from all my peers in Germany. I wouldn't say they put pressure on me, but they said, how can you join that maverick? Why did you do that? You're threatening your own career by doing that. Now, the molecular mass values, they seem to be too small. In Germany, Rath had been researching cholesterol and heart disease and had seen a link with vitamin C. Pauling was one of the few to listen. That we just expose Pauling and Rath tested the new theory on guinea pigs. To induce cholesterol in their arteries, they were all fed a very high-fat diet, but some got high doses of vitamin C as well. Under the microscope, Rath compared the animals' arteries. As expected, the high-fat diet had produced large deposits of cholesterol but he found less cholesterol in the animals on the extra vitamin C. Rath and Pauling said they discovered the true cause of heart attacks. What we are saying is that heart disease is nothing else than the form of pre-scurvy that can be prevented and treated by a significantly increased amount of vitamin C in the diet. As a result of our experimental work done in the laboratory, I am strongly of the opinion that uh, we can eliminate heart disease as a major cause of premature disability and death by taking the optimum amounts of vitamin C every day. Another staggering claim that seems to run far ahead of the evidence. In the eyes of many, Pauling has finally flipped. I think most of us who have observed what Pauling has done with vitamin C are filled with regret. Uh, we're saddened by the fact that this is a great man who recently is making major claims that are of great importance to the public but is not willing to play by the rules. My perception, and, and you know this could easily be wrong, is that Linus is suffering from something called senile megalomania, which some other Nobel Prize winners developed as they got older, where they get an obsessive belief that they can't say anything wrong. If they believe it, it's got to be true. But now, at the very universities that once criticized Pauling, vitamin C is being dusted off the shelf.